is accurate. Because, uh, yeah. The Attorney General calling you on 9 0. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. The Attorney General. The President. Yes. Yeah. Hello, Mr. Yeah. President. Yeah. Um, Martin Luther King's going down to Greenwood, Mississippi tonight, mm -hmm. and he's going to address a mass rally there. Mm -hmm. um, and of course, that creates a problem. Um, the uh, we've talked to the officials down there, representative of the governor, and discussed it with them, and uh, they uh, say that they uh, will not escort them, that they'll have a uh, state patrol there. And uh, their advice is that he leave Greenwood tonight. We asked them about escorting him out of Greenwood to back to Jackson, and they said they wouldn't do that, but that they would patrol the highway, and that they'd try to keep it as safe as they could. Uh, and uh, so we passed that on to Martin Luther King, that the people down there, we can't guarantee it because we don't have the authority, but the people down there think he should go, he should leave Greenwood tonight, and go on to Jackson. It's a ticklish problem, mm -hmm. because if he gets mm -hmm. killed, uh, mm -hmm. uh, it creates all kinds of problems, not just him being dead, but also a lot of other kind of problems. Yeah. Uh, can we have FBI people there and uh, have them uh, uh, keeping their eyes and ears open and yeah. preceding him and following him, probably? Well, it's difficult just the preceding and following. Uh, then. Uh, I suppose we can. Again, my, I have no dealings with the FBI anymore, but, but I think maybe if you ask them, perhaps they'll... Did he, didn't he get you that report the other day that he... Sent away? Away. Yeah. Uh, but I understand that, you know, he sends all kinds of reports over to you to, for, about me and about the Department of Justice. Not any that I've seen. What well, are you talking about? Well, I just understand that, that uh, he's about to be planning and plotting things. No, and, uh, no, he hadn't. Uh, he hadn't sent me a report that I that I remember. Uh, I just uh, called him the other day and told him I'd like to have that full report. He uh, uh, and to be sure to send uh, me a copy of it. And then I called him back a little while later and said, "Send an extra copy for me here." And I assume you sent one to Attorney General. And he said yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, that's the only conversation I had. But he hadn't. Uh, he hadn't sent me any report on you or on the department. Anytime, and I get, uh, I guess, letter every three or four days uh, uh, that summarizes good old stuff. And Walter Jenkins gets eight or ten of them a day on uh, Yugoslavia and uh, various routine things where people are talking. But as far as I know, they haven't involved you. Well, I had understood that he had. That he had, had uh, sent reports over about me. No, no. The overthrow of the government by force and violence. No, no. Leading no. to who? No, that's a, that's a, that's an error. He never has said that or indicated or given any any uh, indication of it. Well, in any case, just going back to this, uh, uh, that's the uh, they're going to have the state patrol there. It's just a. a and maybe the FBI, I thought about having marshals go, go along that road, but I think that causes all kinds of problems. Maybe the, uh, the FBI could uh, talk to the uh, governor's office down there with whom they have a liaison, see whether they would think it would make any sense if they had a car that would follow Martin Luther King out of Greenwood back to uh, Mississippi. Why don't you have somebody, Burke Marshall, or you, or if you don't want to, I'll do it. Well, I hate to, have to tell you to be to dealing with somebody you're working over here. Mm -hmm. I hate to ask you to be dealing with somebody that's working over in the Department of Justice. <laughs> that's not a very satisfactory situation. <laughs> but I would, uh, why don't I call him and see? But anyway, I kept you I never had the slightest indication that uh, he didn't want to cooperate with you or with Burke Marshall or, or uh, any of them. He's never indicated anything like it to me. And I don't know where. Well, I think it's just, I mean, uh, there are a number of, you know, it's a very difficult situation, I think, for everybody here now, for whether it's Nick or Burke or me or anybody that has to deal with them. But, I mean, as I say, we'll all get through it's only a little while. Uh, the other thing, Mr. President, is the, uh, is, uh, 
New York. Um, the uh, um, I just talked to Mike Murphy up there, police commissioner, and uh, it's his feeling that it's organized and it's run by the Labor's Progressive League, which is a communist organization, that they have an informant there and who was just given instructions to distribute pamphlets in Parliament on how to people how to make uh, Molotov cocktails. Uh, I think that uh, it'd be helpful if we had a major investigation going there by the FBI, getting as much information as possible, cooperating with the New York police as much as possible, and also see if, if for the activities of some of these people, uh, whether they violate any federal laws. So uh, if I have your permission, I'd like to have the FBI make a major effort there also, and if you could also evidence your interest, I think it would be helpful. I'd be glad to call him. I thought I ought to wait until I talked to the mayor. The mayor's en route back. Yeah. I tried to, I got in a call. I haven't had an answer on it yet. I think that's uh, right. To the acting mayor, and I thought I would say to him exactly the same transcript I used in Mississippi and the same one to governor of Georgia. And they say we're concerned and we're ready and willing uh, to be helpful. And in light of the disturbance, we are asking the FBI to conduct a thorough investigation of it. And we ask them to get in touch with you and cooperate fully with you. And we realize that the, uh, you have the responsibility of the local law enforcement. We don't want to replace you, but we do want to uh, carry on the necessary investigation to determine what federal law has been violated and how we can put a stop to this violence. Yes. And uh, maybe put out a statement on it very similar to what we did when we sent Dulles to Mississippi and what we did when uh, we called Sanders and uh, sent him to Georgia so people at least don't think it. we just jump on the cell. Yes. The, uh, um, Jimmy Brislin wrote a pretty good article in the Herald Tribune this morning. I did say it. Which is be worthwhile. Just the, the kinds of people that are involved in some of these things. I think he runs a, Murphy runs a good police department, and, uh, uh, you know, I think Scrivain, Wagner, do whatever has to be or can be done. Uh, I thought we we should just take some care that doesn't look like we're undermining the police department. I mean, we discuss it in investigation, uh, that uh, it doesn't look like we're involved at this moment, particularly with Frank Hogan going in. It doesn't look like we're mistrust Frank Hogan, the district attorney, and also the police department, because we're making an investigation of Gil, I don't know whatever his name is, and the police. I think that that could perhaps cause... See if you got any suggestions on this statement that I wrote out last night and haven't put it out because I made three or four changes. This morning I've got in a call for Scrivain and haven't been able to get him. For the past three days, the nation has been shocked by reports of rioting and disorder in the streets of our largest and one of our proudest cities. The immediate overriding issue in New York City is the preservation of law and order and the right of our citizens to respect for their property and to be safe in their person as they walk or drive through the streets. In the preservation of law and order, there can be no compromise, just as there can be no compromise securing equal and exact justice for all Americans, regardless of their race, or their creed, or their color, or their national origin. I've called the acting mayor of New York City. I've told him of my willingness to cooperate in every way possible to help him in this time of agony. Law enforcement is basically the responsibility of the governor, state, and local officials. The acting mayor and other officials in New York are aware of all their responsibilities and are determined to discharge them, including the full application of impartial justice. It must be made clear once and for all that violence and lawlessness cannot and must not be tolerated. In this determination, New York officials shall have all the help that we can give them, and this includes help in correcting the evil social conditions that breed despair and disorder. American citizens have a right to protection of life and limb, whether driving along a highway in Georgia or a road in Mississippi or street in New York. I believe the overwhelming majority of Americans, regardless of their section or their creed, will join in preserving law and order and reject resolutely those who espouse violence, no matter what the cause. Evil acts of the past are never rectified by evil acts of the present. We must put aside the quarrels and the hatreds of bygone days, resolutely reject bigotry and vengeance, proceed to work together toward our national goal. I think it's very good. I just did. He said, here is a statement that has been agreed upon. Bill Moyers and Lee White and Burke Marshall said, quote, I think it's a good statement. It has none of the other problems I discussed with Bill Moyers, unquote. 
Yeah, now I think it's just a question of the timing for it. I guess we ought to put in there that we're asking the FBI to cooperate fully, to extend every facility and cooperate fully with the local and state officials. Yeah. Um, I think it ought to be put out as soon as we read it to them and see that they don't think that we're trying to yeah. put them on the spot. Yes, I think that's right. Uh, now, Ed, the mayor's on the other phone now, they tell me, acting there. Yeah. And then are you going to talk to uh, Mayor Wagner, too? Well, I don't know. He's not He's not back till late today. I, I don't know whether I ought to wait for that or not. What do you think? But I think this is fine. I think that you should, uh, uh, I, I should think you should give him a ring tonight. Yeah. You know, so he, he knows that uh, he's involved, and I think it's good to have a statement read and make sure that they approve of it. Okay. Mr. Mr. President, yeah. that invitation's still uh, outstanding to you, but I know that you've got a lot of other problems. So. Fine. I, I'll, I'll look just into it, and I'll talk to you, you this week. You can just decide. Yeah. yeah. I'll talk to you fine. in a day or two. Fine. Bye.